When military members are injured, where do they go? Some may ask, is it the end of their career? When these members need answers, the Wounded Warrior Transition Program is there to help. We're running the European Warrior Games time trials for the Wounded Warriors that are stationed overseas. And uh, we're gearing up for the Warrior Games coming up in June, which will be held in the States. The Adaptive Sports Program is a huge part of their recovery. Um, it is mandated partially, but um, the, the sports that we do, we adapt them to the different disabilities. And obviously being uh, active is going to help their recovery process quite a bit. And we try to make it a normalized lifestyle and active lifestyle because ultimately the purpose is to return our soldiers to duty. And we can only do that if they are fit. Members of the WTU have a wide variety of resources and support on the road to recovery. The adaptive sports program is helping a long ways. Mr. Paddock, Sergeant Wright, a lot of people have been there for me along the ways. So it's, this, the adaptive sports has helped um, with the recovery process in, over the last year. We've come a long ways as far as where I'm at. And that's kind of why I put a lot of effort into it. It's, it's been one of the mainstays that has helped me along the way. Alongside professionalism, there's always room for a little fun. We're all just having fun, supporting each other, um, giving each other um, some tips and whatnot. I've never done shot put before, so my goal is just to make it to the first chalk line, and then if I make it past that, everything else is gravy. From the first chalk line to the finish line, the 20 participants support each other to the end. Petty Officer Ruben Reed, Kaiserslautern, Germany.